let's talk mud most people are going to hide this they're not going to show it it's embarrassing nobody wants to see mud we want to see nice happy animals in a dry pen and that's the way it should be i mean honestly that's the way i want it i want dry pens but never fails if you have a farm ranch homestead animals there's going to be a spot that collects mud and this is my spot that collects mud right here and so i'm going to show you what i do to combat the mud and it works pretty well um, now this is the result of 24 well we're over 24 hours now we're about uh, 36 hours of record-breaking rain over the uh, Pacific Northwest and so yeah it's it's just drowning us but um, I'm going to show you what I do to keep these guys as dry as I possibly can that is a pile of wood chips and I'm going to be adding a bunch more in here and also to the pigs they're not getting left out either even though I'll tell you what these pigs are just happy as a clam with all this mud but anyway i make friends with all of our local um the tree guys i don't I, the name just escaped me what they go by but if they cut trees they often have to take it to the dump and our local landfill charges them anywhere between 30 and 60 dollars a load or i offer they can drop it here for free and saves them a trip to the dump saves them a bunch of money and these guys are going to love it it works as bedding it works to uh soak up this disgusting mud and come springtime I just till it up and take it out to my gardens and I'll tell you what I've got the best gardens around my stuff grows like crazy so yeah this is how I'm combating the mud I'm gonna spread it out go get some more and uh, then these guys will be nice and dry there we go one goat pen and one pig pen layered in four to six inches worth of wood chips um, It'll be a mud pit again tomorrow, I guarantee it. And I'll just keep adding to the top. Uh, then I don't use straw because straw really doesn't absorb anything. It just makes it really slick. And it brings out the ammonia smell in the uh, feces. And it just, it stinks. And I'll tell you what, with the wood chips, it doesn't smell like I have animals. It smells like we're in the forest or something. Uh, we don't have the animal smell when I use this, which is a bonus. So it means I don't have neighbors that are complaining, especially because pigs, they can be so super smelly. And I've had zero neighbor complaints. So that's a win. All right, there you go. That's how I deal with mud. I got a few more pens to do. I'm going to probably actually add another um, wheelbarrow load to the pig pen just so it's extra fluffy for those guys. And yep, that's how we deal with mud here in Idaho, at least where I'm at.